big deal for me, especially on the road. And in America, it's an absolute nightmare. So I had to do something about it. I decided to get myself a macro chef. Okay, show us your macro good is. Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well. Can I see through here because they're fresh and steamed. Gorgeous. And we have Amazon cheese berry muffins. Look at that. This is tempeh tuna salad. This is seafood tuna salad. Tomorrow morning, raisins, oatmeal cookies, summer squash soup. This looks like it's a hummus. Actually, it looks like hummus. It's really hot. It's summer squash soup. It's nice and simple. Pressure cooked medium grain. You should put it better for spring and summer. If I choose to make a move, you won't see this. <laughs> She was all that. <laughs> she was so all that. I'm all that. She is all that. That's so California. <laughs> <laughs> Say that. I've only been in the cigarette. Good for getting it to me. Like George can just like duck, 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 the crowd, they liked it. They looked at the crowd, the crowd went wild. Oh, they love it. They love it. Oh, Jeanette, and she was going to be the cooker on the next leg of the tour. I think she has just been fired. <laughs> she just took herself out of a job. I get that in. We're in Philadelphia, and I'm having serious makeup problems. It's so fucking hot in this venue, my makeup is pinned off my face and I'm melting basically, and that's why this huge industrial fan. Um, I'm being a bit of a bitch today because I hate being hot. Which is kind of stupid to me by doing a summer tour in America and everywhere we've been it's been like tropical weather. Heat is the enemy of the dry and I am suffering big time with all the makeup on the face, the wigs, the hats, the clothes, and um, I'm not having a good day today. And he played better than he's ever played. He was steady as a rock. Those girls were having fun. I'm sure they were actually. They were all like just saying themselves. They were happy to see you. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Did you have things last night? No. No, I'm not a pencil fan. With a slag leg, but no sex. Somebody gave you a blowjob. That's what Casey thinks, but I can't with the man. You, I thought you liked when you stopped drinking and doing drugs, you became a bad person. <laughs> you become a bad person. On paper. It's a mate. Chasing young women around the country. It's a novel lot. Person, isn't it? It's been a bit of a cliche, isn't it? Oh, man, it's a cliche, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's now or never. How does it feel to be back in a group as a band? I mean, I know there was a little unfinished business that you said before. <laughs> you sort of not have to always be boy. I mean, from seven. What is? They're made of clear, don't they? There's more and more press every day on this tour. I suppose because we're doing quite well, so in a way it's a good thing. And on the other hand, it's really annoying because although we sort of decided on the tour that the whole band would do. People don't want to talk to the whole band, they want to talk to me. So I'm um, basically getting out there, getting on the bus, and then I'm doing all these radio interviews. And, and then I'm getting to the gigs, and there's like things being thrown at me that I didn't know anything about. And it's fun, kind of getting on my nerves a bit. I shouldn't complain with it, it's my job, but having sort of um, been out of this kind of spotlight for a while, um, I realised all the things I really hate about it. 10.30 in the morning, we're going off to the session with Q magazine. I was working up at 8 30 this morning by a lovely tour manager doing radio interviews. So I'm very grumpy. That's the guilty party. And we just went in from Roy and Mikey. God knows why, because 